All right, let me see a show of hands. How many people got it? Cool. We got three more times. Erase what you have on your screen. And everybody ready? 30 seconds. Create a method called speak attached to type person. Go. You got 30 seconds. A method called speak attached to type person. How many people got? Let me see a show of hands. Cool. We got two more times. Erase what you've got. Erase it. Everybody ready? Anybody not ready? Say not ready. So create a method called speak attached to type person. Go. Cool. How many people got it? Nice. One last time. Create a method called speak attached type person. How fast can you get it done? Go. When you're done, say done. Done. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Nine, nine seconds. Who else? Fifteen seconds left. Method called speak. Done. Yeah. Attached type. Yeah. Attached type person. Right on. Right on. Okay, so now. You've got a minute on this one. I want you to t create type person. The underlying type is a struct. It has the field first, which is a string. So it's this stuff which is up on the screen right here, right? Create a struct, identify a person, and uh, it has a, first, a field first, and that's a string. And then create a method attached to the type person, and uh, it should be called, create a method called speak attached to type person, and then that's it. So you got a minute to do it. We, we're just drilling. All right, go. And yell done when you're done. 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 Yeah, man, that was 22 seconds. That was awesome. Done. Awesome. Wait, are we doing the whole thing or just the, just the first two? Oh, done. Awesome. So, when you do create a method, uh, you have to identify a receiver. You, receive, you identify it as what the variable type coming in is as well as the type. So when you declare P person, you're saying it's going to be a variable of type or nothing like P, and that's going to be type person. All right, that's time. How many people got it? One second. Cool. Who did not get it? Okay, where did you get stuck? Uh, the first part. Creating a uh, struct of type person? Yeah. All right, so uh, uh, walk me through it. What I type? Everybody turn your monitor sideways. Focus in here. Okay, but for the, we need to do a struct, right? How do we do that struct? Create a type. So what, what's the first one? It's type. And then the identifier. And then the underlying type. And curlies. 
and then the field. So the field is first, and then the type. Cool, everybody erase what you've got. Oh, well, I'm, I'm typing like it's up here, and it's not. It's right there, sorry. Everybody erase what you've got. And now I want you to create type person. The underlying type is a struct with a field first, which is a string. You got 30 seconds. We're going to do this one until you get it. What's the underlying type? Of struct. Struct. Create a, create, a, create a type person, which is a struct, and uh, it has the field first, which is a string. So we still got to say dot when we're finished? No, that's all right, Garrett. Thank you. <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah. All right, cool. Let's do it again. Type person struct, field first. Remember, it's the type, the identifier, and then the underlying type, which is the struct, and then the curlies in the field, or fields. <laughs> 